Welcome back to Shenanigans. This week, I'm back getting into some hot topics. I feel like it has been a minute with some fabulous women. We've got a ladies-only hot topics episode. Women from all across the pop culture landscape, please welcome my dear friend and now fellow Bravo Fellow Bravo (laughs) Liberty, say that five times fast. (laughs) All right, so please welcome my dear friend and fellow Bravo Liberty, which I just love that you're a part of the fam now, Janet Caperna from the Valley. So you're back co-hosting. Do you feel more comfortable in now this I feel, seat? I was sweating last week. You're I'm not, not going to lie. Seat. No, I'm not in the hot <laughs> seat. I, I feel like more like co-host instead of, I don't know, guest. I, I can't be yeah. a guest. It's but too I mean, much. We had to do it, you know? <laughs> and hearing Bravo Liberty, I'm like, who? No, that can't be. Bravo Liberty. Scary. I remember the first time I said this to the band, I was like, you know, a bunch of the Bravo Lebs. And they go, I'm sorry, what did you just refer to yourself? I'm like, no, I don't call myself. Like, that's what, <gasps> never mind. <laughs> Also joining us is the host of Radio Andy's Reality Checked and the Pop Crime Podcast, Kiki Monique. How we doing? So good. I love being here with all the ladies. Yes. I mean, I love Ryan Bailey and we'll have him back soon, but I felt like a little ladies hot topics would be fun. And all the way from across the pond, social media sensation and host of the Saving Grace Podcast, who is gracing us with her presence today here from the UK. We've got also known as GK Barry, but yeah. my girl, Grace, how are we doing? I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I was saying this, I've been trying, this is my first time in LA. And <gasps> no I've way. Been, and I've been doing the Vanderpump Rule tour. Oh, I, I've been doing it all. I saw, I saw yeah. you were at uh, Tom Tom yeah. this weekend. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it you looks see? better on the show. <laughs> oh, really? It does, yeah. Hmm. Okay. But I had a great time. They gave me um, a tequila shot in a champagne glass. Uh-huh. And I thought, is that is that a normal thing here? No. no. Well, if it's like <laughs> a nice Reposado tequila, um, they have like the little oh, champagne glasses and they no, try to make them a little fancy. It was giving like, you know, in like your corner shop, the one with the little Mexican hat on yes. that tastes like battery acid. <laughs> <laughs> that was the tequila. It was hell. Did Schwartz give it to you? No, none of them were there. I was like, what was the point? Oh, yeah, yeah right? Probably best that they weren't there. Though. They might yeah. have been at Schwartz and Sandy's. <sighs> so next on my start. <laughs> next on my start. Are you going? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's everyone doing? What did we get up to this weekend? I felt like I watched a lot of Buying Beverly Hills because I needed to know what was going on with Kyle yes. and Mauricio. Okay. Yeah. One minute in as well, they just did oh, the yeah. intervention. And I was like, uh-huh. all right. Yeah. Wait, so are there updates currently, like post Real Housewives finale yeah. on that show? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that oh. Mauricio really used this as his sounding board so he could get his side of the story mm. out. Interesting. Because we're hearing more than we heard all season of Beverly Hills. Okay, yeah. do tell. Fill me in. Well, I mean, pretty much, here's the thing. Umanskis are a drinking family. So that said a lot. I mean, even the daughter. So I feel like she feels a little kind of outcast. Like, Kyle doesn't want to party. She mm. doesn't want to drink. And Mauricio feels like he's about to embark on the best part of his life. And he doesn't want to slow down. Um, On top of it, I mean, it sounded like they basically agreed that we're going to separate. She said, you do your thing. I'm not going to ask questions. You don't ask questions about me. In the beginning, it seemed like he didn't believe the Morgan Wade rumors. Mm -hmm. But towards the end, I think his partner was kind of like, well, what do you think? He's like, I just don't ask her because I feel like I don't want to put pressure on her. And I think the reality is. If she said, yeah, I like women, he his ego might take a hit. Yeah, right. definitely. Well, he's not going to be poking around, I feel like, asking questions because if she does the same, I feel like as a viewer, there's more, you know, dirt under his They've both done situation. the same thing, though. Like, she's gone with a girl. He went with the, what was the show that he was on, Dancing with the... Oh, uh, yes, stars. Dancing with the Stars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've both basically done the same thing, so neither of them can say anything. I think he's been doing it a lot longer. I've That's heard. The, the, yeah, yeah, I mean, there were rumors Feeling in I the get. early season. I was going to say on the show. With him. Yeah. And on the reunion this season that got brought up, you know, was there ever more doubt put in in the more recent years of your relationship because of the rumors that happened in the early seasons of Real Housewives? I started getting a vibe. I mean, this is just my vibe. This is not confirmed <laughs> in any way. But Santiago, who's his partner, who's featured on the show, 
who's very hot, looks like it could be Mauricio's brother, like, mm. you know, has the accent, very tall. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, he's sexy. And he came back from Bernie Man with like this bleach blonde hair. And I was like, is he partying? Is he married? I looked it up. He had just gotten divorced in 2021. Mm. So I got this oh. sense that maybe the two of them, I don't know. I think they're about to enter this like F boy era Ooh. 50 plus club. Go Interesting. That's just my Sometimes prediction. getting divorced has a cascading effect in friend groups. I'm seeing it a little bit in my life with some of my friends mm-hmm. right now, but I see how <laughs> sometimes you see somebody, especially if they're going through something similar, them making the jump and then being happier and then kind of it's being so okay. Ju- my doing manager, it. do you mind me saying this? <laughs> my manager went through a breakup. I watched it and I thought, I've got to do the same. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I've got to go. I yeah. broke off mine and now it's it. like, sometimes when you see people having freedom mm-hmm. and being happy when you've been in maybe an unhappy relationship, it's that the boost that you need yeah. mm-hmm. to then get rid. And I start think so a new, too. Yeah. Well, that's why it's interesting to watch Farah on this season too, because she's going through things with her fiance. Right. And so to see that, and she's sort of like, I think in the beginning stages of being like, no, everything's fine. Mm. And then the guy, she, I don't know, she might be vibing with Zach kind of comes to her and he's like well I'll admit I have, I'm having issues in my oh, marriage and people thought that they, timing. so I don't know we'll see what happens season mm-hmm. three mm. <laughs> see now that also I want to throw this one to Janet and then get y'all's opinion do you think with Michelle and Jesse you know their separation that that had anything to do with giving Brittany maybe the push that she needed to separate from Jax to be honest I don't think it like helped or hurt depending on how you look at the situation like I you know they, it's not like Brittany copied her and was no. like oh this looks great but I think she but was just like, that extra encouragement like yeah. okay you can do it I can do it I think that there is especially when you know seeing like one kid in each you know marriage mm-hmm. it's like she can do it in a healthy way mm-hmm. they can co-parent I think it's like encouraging or it's comforting in a way to know that other people can do it and you know I think it, it doesn't if you're going through problems and you see somebody else find happiness, it mm-hmm. you know can motivate you to find happiness, too, I think. Yeah. What did you both think of the Valley premiere? Sorry. A Jackson Brittany actually split up. They're separated. They're separated. Yes. Living separately and totally separated. I they think... haven't like filed for divorce or anything yet, but they are separated. And they yeah, good for her. parenting. She is just a lovely Southern girl <laughs> <laughs> lost in Jax's world. Like, yeah, yeah good for her. Mm-hmm. Good for her. Yeah. Yeah. So did you watch the Valley premiere? Oh, yeah, I watched it. I had an advanced screener. So I watched it <laughs> twice. No, I loved it. I mean, I mm. of course I had my doubts, but that's like what every Bravo like mm-hmm. watches. Right. They're always like, what's it gonna be like? But yeah. then it was like Whoa. actually once the trailer started coming out, I was like, Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna yeah. love it. <laughs> There's so much but I just thought it was like, Oh, maybe it's just, you know, like, you know, just about mum life, mm. maybe stuff but it hits the fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It all hits the fan. Especially next week's episode is gonna be like if I know correctly based on the timeline of what happened this summer it's gonna be bonkers like things really I remember being like okay it's gonna be like calm and normal drama and then something happens and it is (sighs) it's terrifying honestly oh wow really yeah it's a little bit I'm scared of it do you find it more intense filming that or watching it back both I think have their you know, it's crazy because I was just saying, like, I feel like things, the dust kind of just settled Mm -hmm. and then now it's It's coming back back up up. again. So it's going to be interesting. I feel like now, you know, at the premiere party, everybody's like, hey, yeah, you know, who cares what happened this summer? And now we have to watch it. That must be so awkward when you guys all watch your shows after months of not filming (laughs) and then it gets brought back up. Yeah, actually, no. And then you see (laughs) what people, there's a lot of stuff you don't see. So I don't see, you know, everything that so-and-so said behind my back and then I'm watching it and I'm like, great. Full F you too. Yeah. You know, say that again. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you see the interviews, you know, and you're watching their inner monologue. It's like you could be in a room and maybe the person's just being quiet and respectful. And then you go to their inner monologue and you're like, what the fuck? That's what you're thinking. I actually have a question that uh, from the most recent Vanderpump. So you are probably just now seeing. Schwartz and Lala's conversation mm-hmm. and then Lala mm-hmm. and Katie's conversation mm-hmm. for the first time. How do you feel about all of that? Like knowing like obviously you and Lala had had a conversation about this, but like how did yeah. that feel? I mean, I wasn't happy when I saw that back because I'm like, Lala, I did tell you I did after last summer tell her that there was a time when Schwartz tried to kiss me. Okay. So as I'm watching this, I'm like, is she 
protecting me because I said I didn't tell anyone or did she actually forget because it was so right. long ago. And I think that when I said like he tried or just the way I said it, she didn't realize that he actually did yeah. kiss me. But as you see on this week's episode, we did not make out. Thank God. It was not a make <laughs> this out. This was so random. When I saw the trailer oh for this year's, <laughs> I was like, what? Where did that come from? I it was the same so thing. beyond. It was a decade ago, more than a decade ago. That was distraction, though. Surely. Literally. From, can I ask you a question? Sure. As an avid watcher. <laughs> yes. Do you think you will be friends with Tom again? I think you're going to see a lot of conversations mm. this season and a very interesting reunion. Yeah. And um, oh. we'll see. Because can I say from my part, right, if I'm I'm friends with two people, but from separate, we've got two separate friendships, right? It's different if someone cheats and that's they've cheated on just your friend. You weren't mm -hmm. ever friends with them. I think it's very different because you've got no loyalties to them. I think it's different when you've also been friends with that person. You've been friends with both of them for so many years. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I don't know, I kind of find it just a bit tough that you just can't be friends with that person anymore, yeah. even though you've got so much history with them. I know you might be an arsehole, but for <laughs> I'm me, I, I'm like, I'm taking sides. It's yeah, Ariana. Yeah, Tom can yeah. go fuck no, off. I, I get that, but it's also <laughs> like, you know, I've got friends that, listen, I've got friends that have cheated on someone before. It's, it's an awful situation. Obviously, that situation is a mm -hmm. little bit crazy. Totally. Yeah. But I don't know. Sometimes I think it's tough to put people in predicaments when you've had a long term friendship with the other person as well. Yeah. I and think you it's see difficult. A, a lot more of that this season. Yeah. And it is brought up at the reunion because it, to me, in the beginning, of course, it was black and white. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. When it happens. Absolutely. Yeah. And then a lot of time, I mean, over a year has now passed. So many conversations have been had. A full mm. season has been filmed. And just a lot has happened in the entire friend group in many different ways. Right. And things just aren't the same. Mm. So it's hard to say where the future with any of us goes. After the reunion, well, so much happened. I'll yeah, say that. What, in a season. how was the reunion? Yeah, and because <laughs> I, I saw a clip from uh, Andy Cohen's uh, radio show mm -hmm. where he said uh, Lala and Brock were the MVPs or standouts or something like that. Yeah, so, of the reunion of the reunion really? or season, I know something like that. But he said it the day after the reunion, so it had to have been fresh from that. So yeah, what can you Brock. tell us? No, I remember him saying that, and I agree. Lala was definitely the MVP of the reunion. I think she says a lot of things that people think and are too afraid to say she out does loud. That. Yeah. Yeah. Lala gets scary. Like I, yeah. I love her. I would her. never want to argue with her. No. But like, you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I knew so right. I would back down very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew going into the reunion for me, it was going to be hard to say the things I want to say because I obviously don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Mm. But then I have to have people's backs and if me having her back upsets this person. And then it's just like, it was really hard. But I did in my Sheena, more soft-spoken way, yeah. say <laughs> my piece, which you'll see. I don't know how everyone feels about what I had to say. But um, with Brock, it's like, I mean, I'll admit the bar was pretty low. You know, he had a really <laughs> rough <laughs> entry season into yeah. reality yeah, TV. Yeah, I think I'm loving he, him this season. Though. I mean, I love him in real life. No, yeah. for sure. But it's like you know the show. Him. Yeah, but I loved seeing him, especially like stand up for you in the gondola. Like, mm -hmm. and that I was, he's that really was strong. On it. Yeah, that was hot too. I was like, yeah, Brock, get it. Yeah, and then <laughs> in the I loved when he got messy this episode and I was like, oh, want to know who's <laughs> it, so who's really, hooking up? And I was like, in oh. the moment, it pissed me off because I'm like. I was talking to Max and Max wanted to tell Schwartz and then for Brock to do that, I was like, that was not your place. I loved it. And I'm yeah. trying to like <laughs> be it. in a good place with Katie. And so it put me in a very tough no, position. No, one thing about you is you're always in the sticky situation. Always. And it's never your fault. You're always <laughs> in the middle. Like, 
And you're usually well, getting injured too. Yeah. You're in the middle of it. I know, right? I was able to make it out with no injuries um, physically, emotionally, and mentally. It's a different okay. subject. Yeah. But, but I do also agree with Andy. He said that Brock's haircut, he felt like gave him like a superpower. <laughs> and I'm so glad. He was going to do a buzz cut right before the reunion. And I'm like, please don't do it. Please don't do it. Like, mm. people are just now seeing mm-hmm. the haircut and it looks so good. So I was happy he didn't do that. But. As far as Lala, like, you know, she doesn't put up with BS. Mm -hmm. And the way the whole season was, I mean, it was hard. Her and I were really in tough positions Mm -hmm. often. And I feel like if you're saying one thing off camera and another thing on camera, because you don't want to go against, you know, what's popular with the audience. I mean... She's going to call it out, and that's exactly what she did at the reunion. So I'm so hmm. excited! To I know, see me that. too. I know. I'm so excited! Yeah, it was um, it was hard though because there was a moment where I just realized I have to speak up, and I'm so scared too. <laughs> yeah, that's like my worst nightmare. <gasps> yeah, my worst nightmare, and yeah. it's filmed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a difference in doing it in real life and no one seeing it when it's on camera and you have to watch it like four months later. It's yeah. just an absolute. I couldn't. I know. Don't know how you it's do wild it. I know. Like being friends with you guys, you hear everybody's sides and mm. then you get to watch it. So it really is, what do they say? Like there's sides, every, sides story. every story. Yeah. And then there's the screenshots. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to watch it too. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick little break and then I have a fun game for us to play when we come back. So have you ever found any subscriptions that you forgot about or any you maybe paid twice for and didn't realize it? Because I know that I have. And nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. Before I started using Rocket Money and before Brock started using it, I thought I maybe had, I don't know, just like a couple subscriptions. But I couldn't believe that when we found out there were so many things we were still paying for, subscriptions monthly. I mean, things that I hadn't thought about in a really long time. So between streaming services, fitness apps, delivery services, I mean, it's never ending. But thanks to Rocket Money, I'm no longer wasting money on the things I forgot about. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so you can grow your savings. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million dollars in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with just a few taps. It's that easy. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash honey. That's rocketmoney.com slash honey, rocketmoney.com slash honey. Okay, and another thing I can't live without is my liquid IV. I love that I've been seeing commercials on the TV for this recently because everyone needs to know what liquid IV is and everyone needs to have them in their purse, in their pocket, on the go at all times because it is what keeps you extra hydrated. So if you are a person who doesn't like drinking just water all the time because you think it's boring, add a little liquid IV to flavor up your water and extra boost your hydration. There are new flavors like white peach that I am absolutely obsessed with, and it just makes drinking water a little more fun. They have convenient packaging. They're just these tiny little packets that honestly, I mean, you could fit in your bra, you could fit in your pocket in any tiny little clutch. And it's great for on the go when you're traveling and need to stay hydrated. Whether it's before your daily workout, when you feel run down after a long night out, or especially when you're traveling like me, have liquid IV with you. One stick plus 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. 
It has three times the electrolytes of any leading sports drink, no artificial sweeteners and zero sugar, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. However you hydrate, grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code HONEY at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code HONEY at liquidiv.com. Okay, so before we get into our game, how long have you been watching Vanderpump Rules, Grace? I so I actually started properly during like after lockdown. Uh huh. Binged. That's a good time to get into it. A lot of people did. Yeah. But I didn't expect like I remember thinking, oh, because I'd watched Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, so I knew Lisa Vanderpump, right? And I thought, she's off the show now, so I need to find another way to indulge Vanderpump Rules. It was like crack. Mm-hmm. So what Couldn't do stop. the Brits think of LVP? And am I allowed to say Brits? You're cool. Yeah, of course. Of course you can. Yeah, so you can say whatever you want. Um, I think she is my version of the Queen. Like if she ever <laughs> wow. if she ever demises, I will have to have a month of mourning. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, I'll be really upset. Obviously I don't know her as a person. <laughs> so she could be, You've never worked for her. No, oh, uh, I bet. I'm like, she will love to hear that. Do you know what it is? I just love loved Jiggy yeah oh. R.I.P may he rest uh-huh. mm-hmm. um, but I just think she's kind of just iconic but everyone in the show is so iconic and it's so funny because we had like a screening in the UK of the new season and it's crazy how big it is in the UK because I don't know if you know how big it is in the UK I was in London February 2020 literally right oh before lockdown right. and being there being in Australia mm-hmm. I did get recognized a lot Do you know what's funny mm-hmm. since then it's like 20 times more Really 100% So Scandal made its way all the way across the pond Scandal <laughs> was yeah uh-huh. 100% I was in um Scotland with Ariana a month after everything happened mm-hmm. and this. it was yeah, yeah. wild oh how God. many people like recognized her like And that's Scotland. Yeah, yeah. see cuz I don't I it didn't was... realize until I was in the Netherlands recently mm. the show does not air there whatsoever. Is I mean, it, it was 5 days and not a single person like said I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> this Were is you okay?" Like, yeah, yeah, for yeah. no I one did go so fuck about London. me. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a British girl who came up. She was there to see the 1975 as well. We went to that concert right. when we were there. But it was so funny because it was very humbling. But yeah. I was like, every country I've Sheena been to, <laughs> I, I didn't. Here's the thing. If I was expecting it, I would have been more in love with it that yeah. I could just go anywhere and not worry. Yeah. But I'm always on such high alert where we're out at a club with my cousins and I'm like just very aware of, you know, how I dance or what I do. It's just mm-hmm. like I'm always thinking someone's taking a photo and, you know, it's just there are always eyes on us. And yeah. I just get very like I need to you know, present myself as properly as possible other than this week's episode when I decided to get drunk on camera. <laughs> God, I'm like, I do not want to watch that doesn't happen back. often. It doesn't. There's usually one episode I let myself just go buck wild and I do shots and I make a fool of myself and everyone's like, no, you were great. You were so funny. I'm like, that was so cringe. But <laughs> I think we always need a little bit of cringe on Vanderpump Rules. So of you're course. welcome to get that from me <laughs> always. <laughs> but yeah, it was um, it was humbling. But it was just like when I've been in London, when I've been in Australia, when I've been in even like Mexico, which is like mm-hmm. people because there's like a bunch of tourists or whatever. I was with you when people were waiting for you getting off the plane from that was wild in, at the Sydney airport. Oh, and yeah. then they recognized <laughs> me. And I was like, if you know who I am, you are deep. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Like, You're it's, deep in it's bad. But now yeah. I kind of want them to film episodes in the Netherlands because then we won't see people like with cameras yeah, in the background. True. You can just like, do your own yeah. thing. Next no, girl's totally. trip. So I was like, okay, now I know where to go. If I just yeah. want to literally get away. It was so refreshing to meet people who also didn't even ask like what do you do it was like oh you're here on vacation oh your dad's from holland that's cool do you want to get a drink and i'm like yeah <laughs> like i made some new friends she was like you don't want a selfie was, <laughs> what's going was, on well, here <laughs> but it was so fun like i just got to make friends just as a normal Person as Sheena 15 years ago, not yeah. Sheena on Vanderpump Rules. I mean, where don't come to stars, London. They're just like yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> People are going to treat you like Paris Hilton if you come to London. Maybe I should go. Yeah, yeah. you should. <laughs> she should. That's more like yeah. it. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask, what are your thoughts of this season so far? 
Can I, mm, I love this season. I think it's good. I think it had... I'm sad Rachel wasn't in this season, though. Mm. I will say I thought the drama could have continued. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, weirdly enough, the viewers have now switched and they are on Tom's side. A really? Lot of, yeah, in the UK... I think a lot of people are on Tom's side and they actually feel bad. So many people feel bad for you. Which thank, God, thank you. I need great. more of this. <laughs> I, I, I was like, Team Sheena. I do need to go to the um, UK. You do. <laughs> you have to London after this episode. <laughs> no. But no, because I think, listen, British people, there's no morals there. We've got no morals. We're feral. <laughs> so we get it. Um, so we forgive easily. So I think, yeah, I, I don't know. I think Ariana's coming across... I get it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's coming across well this season. But also, I think we forget that this was also filmed quite soon after this all came Mm -hmm. out. Like four months. So for us viewing it, this has been months. Like, this has been ages. So we're like, well, why is she still hung up on it? If someone cheated on me with my best friend, first of all, I'd be in jail. Yeah, same. Uh, No, I would be in jail, Mm -hmm. absolutely. I'd be Mm -hmm. on death row for what I'd done. So (laughs) I get it. But I think because it's been so long for the viewers, they're like, why is she still like this? But the context isn't Mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, they need to throw up some dates so you really get the idea. This is what I mean. On the scene, it needs to be like two months after. Then I'd be like, I get it. Yeah. 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 And I mean, for those who actually are like follow, it's like, okay, well, you know, Tom's birthday is beginning of July. So it's like, that's kind of when we started filming. But Mm. Scandal was beginning of March. So yeah, it was only like, Four months. Was that it? Yeah. Yeah. All of March, April, May, My June. My perception has yeah. changed. Mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But then you have the reunion, which we just filmed a week and a half ago. So that right. is current and you'll see that air in May. So that'll be very much today mm-hmm. where we're all at. Oh, it must be so frustrating when you filmed so long ago and you yeah. just want to give your mm-hmm. yeah. input, but you can't. Yeah. It's, yeah. And then even when we finished the season... And then, you know, we're at BravoCon. People mm. haven't seen the season yet. Right, They're yeah, still living yeah. in last season where I'm like, we just filmed a whole season. <laughs> like, but nobody knows. This is like a Black Mirror episode. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Wow. Love yeah. that for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a fun game because I saw your recent TikTok pointing out some observations you've made about Americans. Oh, no. So I'm going to see if, if you have yeah. any more to add okay. to the list. I've got so many. So in the video, she mentioned that it's weird Americans don't drink Prosecco, although... I literally love Prosecco. She does. Thank you, because I was told... My go-to. So my brother lives in Brooklyn, right? And his girlfriend lives in America. And we, re- my, I'm a big drinker family, so we drink a lot. And we always drink Prosecco. Mm-hmm. And when she was over for Christmas, she went, why do you drink that? And I was like, I, I, why don't you drink that? And she was like, no, no, no. When you go to America, people don't drink Prosecco. And then I started spiraling. <laughs> what, they drink champagne or they just no. don't? I didn't get that far because okay. I was so in <laughs> shock by that statement. I was like, what do you mean? Um, so, yeah, then I, then I thought I'd do a TikTok on it and everyone yeah. in the comments was like, you're an idiot. And I was like, okay, fair. Well, I, <laughs> I order Prosecco fair. specifically because there's been, I've been burned too many times by accidentally ordering champagne and then being charged like $500 yes. for a bottle. Mm-hmm. If yeah. you say Prosecco, they been know there. that yeah. you're mm-hmm. at, in the 200 range max. Right. Like, and La Marca is delicious. Yes. I drink that like Same. every day in COVID. I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Not COVID. That was a dark time yeah. for us all. Yeah, we were all with a straw. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? But I saw you said you also that um, we don't eat jacket potatoes with cheese and, and beans and beans nor beans on toast. Well, that, that, the I, TikTok I don't. made it look really like I did a whole story huh. about mm. the jacket potatoes. OK, a big Wait, what potatoes? is a jacket? I mean, potato? I think it's like a, a big baked potato. potato and they kind of but they were putting extra things on it that maybe aren't supposed to be on it. The beans right. I'm cool with. OK, good. But then there was like, uh, I think it was like. It's like a fish. It was like a... Mm. Yeah, no. Someone put like a chopped fish or something. That's I'm not why I can't that. claim them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they're from in England, but they're not from where I'm from. <laughs> All we do is be like a heated jacket potato mm-hmm. with the skin on, hot cheese, melted cheese and beans. And that's that's amazing. That sounds actually. good, actually. I could get with that. Oh, or tuna, tuna and sweet, sweet corn. corn. That's where I was like, I no, got it. That oh. slaps. No, no, guys, I will not take this. I will not take it. You must try it with a bit of mm. mayo in the tuna. Ooh. Okay, so it's like a tuna salad. You can tell ish. that we had a war in England. That's our that's our food <laughs> and that's our rations. Yeah. 
That's funny. Okay, so the Atlantic isn't the only thing that divides Brits and Americans. So I'm going to name off some controversial topics among Brits and Americans, and hopefully we can all find some this common ground. This is three versus one. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is it fall or is it autumn? Autumn. Both. I like both. Mm-hmm. Both. Depends on who I'm talking to yeah. and how fancy I'm on yeah, a Yeah, exactly. People have asked if I have another girl if I'm going to name her Autumn because Brock has an older it's daughter cute. named Winter and then we have Summer. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, no it ends seasons. with that. It ends with that. <laughs> Sales tax? Who? Sales tax. What's that? <laughs> no, oh we God, don't have I wish that. I didn't you know what that was. I know. Yeah. It's, it's like I don't even know what that is. Whenever you buy something, instead of it being the, like, if it's something's a dollar, it's actually like a dollar oh nine because mm-hmm. you are get charged a tax on Just everything tax. you buy here. Yeah. But we don't do it. So I had to check with the management there. We do not do that. No. The Pledge of Allegiance, do you see it as patriotic or indoctrinating? Is it just yay or nay? I guess so. I it's think not it's for weird. Me. Yeah, I mean, do people still do that in school? I don't know. Patriotism was fun until somebody ruined it. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> it's always a bit weird being really into your country, though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it always feels a little bit... Well, yeah, I mean, the American flag didn't scare me until a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, until like 2016, <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, they have an American flag? Yeah, and I'm like, right yeah, people, the street yeah. before I walk in front people of that house. People take it really, even in England, sometimes I think, well, oh, yeah. you've got nothing better to do. Yeah, yeah. Chips much. versus fries. So what is the proper name for French fries? And then like, because like, what would you call like Doritos or something? You know, that's a chip. I'd say crisps. Okay. And chips. I love that. Crisps is like a, a hard one. Chips is like fries. Gotcha. But I, I hear you when you <laughs> say fries. <laughs> yeah. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I like crisps. I think that's a cuter name. Yeah. yeah that sounds weird. I'm going to start saying yeah. that. Being but I would an asshole. Never, crisps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I would never say I want to have like fish and fries. I would say fish and chips. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's True. just a thing. Yeah. It's fish yeah. and chips. Yeah. Wearing shoes inside. I feel like Americans do it more than Brits, maybe. I don't really do that. Or when I go into someone's house, I go, oh, do you want me to take my shoes off? Yeah, I never do that. I always wear shoes in the house. <laughs> you walk in through the white rug. Yeah. <laughs> my husband, Jason, has a big thing about this. His He has slippers that go on as soon as mm-hmm. he comes in. And then the slippers, like, even if he's, like, picking a package up from the porch, he won't step outside in That's his me. slippers. Yeah. And yeah. also with pajamas, pajamas, he won't even, like, go for a walk around the block with a stroller with me. Oh, I'll go shopping. He's crazy. Same. <laughs> There's I'm no difference for me. Jumped in a car to like the drive through <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, I've definitely yeah. done that. Definitely. No. Okay, now this is a big one, especially as someone who has worked in the service industry for a long time. Tipping service workers. Okay. We were just talking about this. So in England, we are stingy bast. Am I allowed to swear? Yes. Yeah, we're stingy pricks. We <laughs> don't tip because a lot of the time in England, your tips don't go to your server. They will just sort of they spread it out. But mm. in America, it's so, and you tip a lot. Mm-hmm. It's like, what, 20, 25%. Do you know how much that is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's like a whole other meal yeah. <laughs> that you're tipping. But like, I'll do it. But if you're not used to that, English people wouldn't tip. You wouldn't think to tip. Never. Mm-hmm. You, it's not a thing. Out. But the servers in England are paid a livable wage. Like our servers are paid like $2 an hour. And then that's the f- yeah. Yeah. they have Same to in have Australia. Yeah. They don't tip there either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And whenever you do tip, they're like, Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. You sure? But do you know yeah. what's funny? Did you mean to do that? Over yeah. here, you can tell people want to be tipped because they're so nice to you. Yeah, yeah. They'll do every in England. They're like, yeah, so there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What you want? Food? Yeah, it takes forever. Yeah. I feel like How for dare everything. You? Yeah, order food at a restaurant. <laughs> it's that kind of vibe. Okay, the date format: month and day versus day and month. Because they do this the in Australia this. as well. I know. I don't get it. So like. If if we're in February, I'd say the twelfth of the second, twenty twenty four, which makes sense because it goes from small it's, to big, like yeah. day, month, year. It is strange that we, but you know, I'm just used yeah, to our way. Yeah, but also even the metric system, you know, yeah. like whenever Brock says something about kilometers or what, I, I'm like kilograms. I'm like. How? Pounds, miles, yeah. like, come on, I, I don't no, know. No, we wanted can, to make it very hard yeah. over yeah. here for no reason. Uh-huh. I can do it in stone, and that's the only way I can work out. What do you mean in stone? I, I, no, I want to learn stone, stone because I, I would be way stone? skinnier in stone. <laughs> it, is, it sounds it so sounds much skinnier, better. Yeah. It does. What, yeah, I'm like, yeah. like one stone is 100 pounds and like um, I can just be like one? 14. One oh. stone is... 
14 pounds. Interesting. So it sounds so much less and you yeah. feel oh, so good. It's like I you're like on the that. moon. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Now, this is a big one. Yeah. Driving on the right versus the left. I would die if I drove over here. <laughs> <laughs> and I would die, drive I promise you, die if I drove it, over even there. Like, but you guys don't have roundabouts, do you? We do. do, you? We do. Oh, okay. Well, that's me out the window. I don't I just... understand how you do a roundabout the other way, it's though. It's so, so confusing. Oh, my gosh. You give way to the right and you go round clockwise. But no. you would go round anti-clockwise and give way to the left. No, you're yielding and coming in through the right. I'm having a stroke thinking yeah. about this. I could. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I respect people that can drive over here. There's no way. Even like your laws with pedestrians. If it says you can cross a road, you can still turn right. Yeah. I've nearly died four times because <laughs> I didn't realize it doesn't apply to people turning. Well, yeah. also, LA drivers are the worst drivers I've uh -huh. ever seen yeah. in no my life. So you. this is like, like a different... Like, no one cares. Yeah. So I'm walking out like no one will hit me. Yeah. They're all trying to hit me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't get insurance before coming out and regret it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't go to a hospital here. Yeah. <laughs> You'll really be screwed. God yeah. forbid. Yeah. yeah, I'm clinging on till I go back home. Yeah, absolutely well, not. We were in Australia recently and we picked up my cousins on the way to a music festival and Brock just after... I mean, he's... A Born and raised in New yeah. Zealand and Australia, but has been out here for like eight and a half years now. And so he's driving and my cousin was like, wrong side, wrong side. He just like oh, kept, with, it was the roundabout, so it was throwing him off. Yeah. And then when we would get to a light and then the island was, I'm like, wait, why are you going to the, oh yeah, that's the right side. The mm -hmm. left side is the right side. But you just, guys don't do like black cabs here. Or do you do cabs? Like taxis? We used to before Uber and Lyft. Yeah. But because we were in... Was it, what's the place where all the stars are on the road? Hollywood. 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 Mm -hmm. And I was like, we can just get like a taxi. Mm -mm. There's no taxis. Not anymore. Uber and Lyft took over. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. New York still has taxis, yeah. but yeah. That, I oh, think that's okay, the only yeah, place I can think of. Taxi drivers in New York are absolutely crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would They're not mad at the Uber and Lyft yeah. drivers yes. who took all their money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Warm or cold behavior to strangers? Warm. I'm pretty cold. Depends. <laughs> I used to be warm. <laughs> like, if you were to get in an elevator, do you talk to the person? Oh, I saw Brock post Ooh, about this yeah. recently, and I was like, don't ever talk to a stranger <laughs> in an elevator. What is wrong with you? No, but if I'm meeting someone, I'll go over to make them feel comfortable and not awkward. <laughs> Even if I'm at a shop, I'm like, you're right. <sighs> Weather's so shit, isn't it? Like, I'm just chatting oh. shit to make them feel comfortable. But maybe that's just my issue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Ending text with X. Always. So is What does that mean? The, like a kiss. Oh, that's cute. But then what if you do two, three, four? Depends how drunk I am. I promise you, <laughs> if I message you drunk, you're getting a love heart and three kisses. Wow. And I Aww. hope you're well. I want to text you when you're drunk. Text me anytime. Text me anytime. But I th that's a British thing, isn't it? Yes. It, people don't do like kisses over here. No, I think it's an XO, XO. Yeah. But not oh, just an X. I'd never XO unless I was being sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> then really? I'd do an XO to show I'm being sarcastic. Oh. oh my god. Uh huh. That's interesting because I would be like, that's XO, good to XO. know, yeah. right? Gossip girl. Yeah. 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 Do you know something else I've noticed since being over here? A man came up to me, and I didn't realize. I'm quite tall, right? Mm -hmm. And apparently it's weird to be quite tall and a woman over here because a guy came up to me and was like, oh, you must play volleyball. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. And I've popped, I think people think I'm a man in a wig because I'm so tall and women aren't very tall over here. So I feel like I stick out. How tall are you? I'm 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Same. Do you get this? I get and volleyball, the men take I feel the like piss. it's a thing. Um, yeah, it's, I thought I'd, I've never been near a volleyball. It's because we're <laughs> mean to short kings in this country. Mm, I right. think that's what it is. So short guys see oh, tall I'll, women, I'll and they have to on. take it out yeah, on us. That really offended uh -huh. me because I thought I don't even know your name. Mm -hmm. And your question, you think I do sport? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do yeah. sport. That really, yeah. that really pissed me <laughs> off. That was my first introduction. I thought, cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> horror. Just step on him and move on. Yeah, see what I'll do. It's like a dominate. Yes. I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. All right. We're going to take another quick little break and then we'll be right back. Okay. So I'm a big believer that small, easy changes can have big results. And that goes for your skincare routine too. I feel like these days there is so much out there and it's confusing on what products work and in what order, what do I need? What do I not need? So I'm going to make this easy for you. I've made it easy for my husband. And that is the works system from Dime Beauty. 
Dime Beauty is a clean, high-end skincare that is affordable and it really works. Dime did not sacrifice performance just to make it clean either. So when I say clean, I mean that Dime is 100% transparent about every single ingredient so you can use their products daily with confidence. I struggle sometimes with a skincare routine on what does my skin need and how much of it and in what order. And I wanted to finally just take the guesswork out of my routine. So I started with their works collection and I started Brock on this as well. He sees me do my night skincare routine and he's like, wait, I want to do that too. The work system is everything you need in one powerful package. It includes a gentle cleanser, a toner, two incredible serums, and two luxurious moisturizers. Plus, if you know me, you know I love anything with sunscreen. On my days, I don't want to wear makeup. Their tinted glow wonder screen with SPF 30 just came out in new shades, and it is amazing. Love your skin again. Go to DimeBeautyCO.com now and unlock your discount on the site. That's DimeBeautyCO.com. DimeBeautyCO.com. You're gonna love it. Say hello to your IRL makeup filter in a bottle. CoverGirl's Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. If you've seen my Instagram, you know this is exactly what I have been wearing for a few months now. And let me tell you a little bit about it. So it's a skincare makeup hybrid. It makes your skin look plump, refreshed, and honestly, more youthful. It's developed using micro droplet technology. That's this refreshing formula that provides an instant burst of hydration for, get this, up to 24 hours. The pigmented capsules burst and blend to give a sheer tint while reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And I'm telling you, you're not going to find this formula from any other drugstore brand. You can feel free to compare it to a $70 brand, honestly. This is my go-to foundation. I've been wearing it every day. It's full coverage yet light. If you want to achieve a radiant bare skin filter effect, blend the formula with your favorite dense brush and activate the tinted micro droplets directly onto your face. You start with just a small amount and add additional product for your desired coverage level. Available in eight adaptable shades to complement all skin tones. I love that it is clean, it's vegan, it's cruelty-free, one of the best beauty products I have used, only from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. Okay, so while we have Grace here and we are doing a Hot Topics episode, I felt like we definitely have to talk about Princess Kate. And I've seen, okay, so social media has been, you know, obviously all over this the past month with theories of the absence of Kate Middleton. There were reports that she died. She was in a coma. She ran away because she found out her husband had fathered a child with her friend Rose. And I mean, there was like a, oh, she had a BBL. There were like all of these crazy I was a firm believer in the BBL. I really thought that happened. Literally all over the place. My sister was filling me in on this last week. She's like, there's so many conspiracy theories. And I'm like, wait, what? Because I very much stay away from the news. So I'm like, fill me in. Tell me what's going on. But now it's been revealed, obviously, that she's undergoing cancer treatment. So uh, sending her the best wishes. But... I want to know, who do you think is to blame for how badly the story got out of hand? Do you think it's the palace and royal family, the general public, or both? I don't think the palace even wanted that to come out. I feel like we pick up on things, especially like in England, the royal family is such... I mean, it's a bit half and half, but a lot of people are so invested in it, mm-hmm. right? So people notice things, and then as soon as one person says it, then it starts spiralling out of control, and everyone's talking about it, but... I just think, yeah, I don't even think it was the press. I think everyone was just absolutely so confused. And in England, we love an affair. So we were like, it has to be that. Mm -hmm. It absolutely has to be that. But I don't understand because they had said she was going to be out of commission for a while. They had Mm -hmm. announced that. So I didn't understand why people were getting up in arms that she was not It's kind seen. of, I feel like in America when a celebrity's like, I would yeah. like privacy at this but time or like a reality star. Do you know, it's like, it was we're the, Did you invested. see the picture that was really photoshopped? Yeah, yeah. right. And like AI. That's what I was going to say next. So we were like, this is like the royal family, the palace. How, is, how have they released mm-hmm. something that yeah. is so bad? 
that it starts all the conspiracy. Well, I love a conspiracy theory. Mm-hmm. So we I do just too. All so I was it. into it. I'm like, okay, wait, tell yeah. me all of the things. Yeah. Yeah. If this was like Harry and Meghan or something, it would have been 10 times oh, worse. Yeah. Oh, it would have been yeah. like 40 times worse. For sure. Do you guys like them? I do. I do. I do. Good. Yeah, yeah, good. Don't ask someone in England that. <laughs> I love them. Oh, I, know. <laughs> yeah. I love them. Do you think that this has hurt the royal family's image? No one, I'm going to be honest with you here, and you can take this as you want. People my age, we don't really, we really care about the royal family. It's not, I think it's so outdated. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you so rich <laughs> for doing, <laughs> no, you know, like, I don't know, it's a bit outdated. So I, do, I don't think anything would hurt them, but I think slowly as the generations are going on, I think people are just slowly fading that out. I don't mm-hmm. think there is like, Mm-hmm. looked up upon as they Wait, once so were. Wait, so Americans, do you think Americans are more invested in the royal family oh, than... 100, oh my, oh my God. God. Like, 100% Stassi is obsessed. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I think American people are keeping the royal family going. Wow. Because in England, <laughs> everyone's just like, Meh. yeah, that's Buckingham Palace. That's you know, amazing. Like, it's not, but yeah, some Americans love that. And I love that for them. It keeps tourism coming, you know? Mm-hmm. So I love that. So you brought up Meghan. So from a UK perspective, why mm. do you think that Meghan Markle hasn't been well-received in the UK? I think she's American. And I think she's just very different to what maybe the royal family is. You know, you've got to think they're so traditional. They're very mm-hmm. old-fashioned. I love Meghan Markle. Mm-hmm. I think she's amazing. I, think yeah. she's I don't think she's ever done anything wrong. Um, but I just think, You've got to think we're from a very we're from a country that is very small, very set in their ways, and it's a lot of the older generation that don't like change. Um, so yeah, and they never really have privacy. So as soon as someone asks for some privacy, a lot of people don't respect that because they're like, well, you're you're in a family that doesn't have privacy. Mm-hmm. You're you're a public figure. You're meant to be for the public. So people get quite funny about it. But I think a lot of the blame was based on her. Yeah, and maybe it shouldn't have been. I feel yeah. like the royal family really missed the mark by the changes coming no matter what. The and they would have mm-hmm. accepted yeah. her and leaned into like this is our new modern royal family. Yeah. Like and we, mm-hmm. you know, we have somebody from a different country and it's totally fine. Like that would have been it could have then I think helped them carry on longer. Now yeah. I feel like they're gonna get pushed back from our generation. Well, because I like you said, Americans love the royal I didn't really care that much about the royal I would pay yeah. attention, but then when yeah. Megan came, I was like, Oh, oh my yeah. god, I'm watching yeah. the wedding, I'm doing everything and I might have yeah. gone to England just to see what she was doing. Yeah. So yeah, they did miss the mark. I think they missed a the lot mark of, mm-hmm. Yeah, they the mark. <laughs> I feel like as a young American girl, I always thought like, oh, Prince William, he's so dreamy, so cute, mm. Prince Harry. And you kind of imagine this fantasy of like, oh, go, m- going to England, you fall in love with one of them and then you become a princess. And like Meghan Markle did that. So it was, I think for the first time oh, too, I was I've like, oh, a, I'm invested mm-hmm. in this. Yeah, I've had a crush on Harry and yeah. when a black girl got to marry Harry, yeah. I was like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of it's the press though. I think maybe the royal family actually, they might not even be that bad, but a lot of it can be spun out of proportion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I hope she's well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started I started binge watching Suits. She's very good at it. But <laughs> I got started so Brock. <laughs> yeah. But I could see like, I mean, there are some sexy scenes of her in there. Yeah. I was like, maybe they didn't like oh, that. Oh, I'll start watching it then. Yeah. I didn't realize. Yeah. Love. Yeah. All right, well, before we move on to the next topic, obviously sending our best wishes to Princess Kate and the family, and we hope for a healthy outcome for everyone because that was wild, seeing the photoshops and all of that. Mm. But I do have some other topics I want to get into. The Schwartz kiss, I know we touched on a little bit. I can't believe Uh. it. I mean, when I saw that in the uh, teaser, oh, so I was like, things. oh, yeah. it's they're going to cl- it's no way did that Clip ever yeah. happen yeah. or, you know, I mean, it, it didn't happen. But I mean, That's the thing. I, I thought there was zero truth to any of it. I didn't realize that Schwartz had tried to kiss you at some point. I did love all of the rumors that were swirling. They're like, it was probably Vegas, Sheena. That's it what was I thought. that girl from like season <laughs> eight what or thought. whatever. <laughs> I thought it was going to be and that they had just cut out maybe him saying like Vegas Sheena and I made out once. Yeah. But I didn't know. But here's my thing. Like, OK, you're kind of getting shit for like not saying anything. But OK, right. imagine if you had said something, they would have turned it around and said, like, Crucified. why are you bringing this yes. up now? You're trying to destroy a marriage. Yeah. Right? You're trying everybody, to make it about you. She makes a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> like nobody cares. It was so old. That's... Could you imagine if I told Katie this before her wedding, I would have been making her wedding about You'd be me. Dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You'd actually oh, yeah. be dead. There's uh-huh. no way. Uh-huh. There's Literally. No way. 
So it's like, first of all, there was no makeout, nor did I kiss him. He kissed me. I said no. He shot his shot. I shot him down. Like, I just want to make this yeah. very and this clear. this was more than a decade ago. From the time that he tried until they got married was like five or six years, right? Yeah. So it's not like also you're like, oh, by the way, since I'm in your wedding... Six years ago. I honestly don't even think I remembered around that time. It was something that I buried. I was like traumatized by it because despite what the world may think, this home wrecking horror version (laughs) of me, I am not a cheater. Mm. I don't cheat on people. Mm -hmm. Someone I was with back in 2006 was cheating on his wife. I didn't know that. Like, I am not a cheater. So Mm -hmm. in this moment, Mm -hmm. it was... I think when I, I was drunk, as we know, at Hotel Ziggy, but when I said, I don't know if it was right around when Shane and I got engaged, I just remember my sister was in high school. So that was sometime between season one, season two, this like cheerleading competition that Ariana came with me to. Mm-hmm. But I was not about to get back to this group of women in LA who hated me mm-hmm. for being a home wrecking whore and being like, by the way, when your man was drunk, he tried to kiss me. I that said no. That's such a good point. But, yeah. you yeah. know, make it but one no, also, right. Shane, right. I kind of... <laughs> cheated on you, but it wasn't my fault because I didn't want the kiss, but he kissed me. It was just like, there was no winning in this situation. So in that moment, I said, this never happened. You take this shit to the grave. You go to your room. I go to mine and I like that's a good way never to deal speak with of it. it yeah. Because nothing happened. Yeah. And I didn't want to hurt Katie because I also knew he was a makeout slut and he had cheated on her already. And I was not about to be yeah. one on the list of Gross. women who like hurt her with this. There's no way. Every Drunk woman, I know hot, every gross. woman has a secret <laughs> that they haven't told a friend specifically not to hurt. I know mm-hmm. I'm taking stuff to the grave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> well, I've also learned in... um therapy that I think sometimes my defense mechanism or trauma response is to often just like box up certain things, you know, and I am try- I feel like I'm so hyper aware because the whole world says that I make everything about me when it's like I'm I don't even want to open up about certain things because I don't want people to think that I'm making anything about me. But it always backfires. Anyways, I don't think but- you do. But I think people need to think that because you're on a show, Mm -hmm. the way they edit it makes me... Because you're talking about a topic that's so relevant, it looks like you're talking about it constantly. But you're not. You're it's just my being. Job. Yes, it's your, you have to talk about it. You're being asked about it. So obviously anyone in that situation yeah. would be talking about yeah. it. Yeah. And also if you say something twice, like ever, mm. if those two times are filmed, yeah. then it looks like you're talking about something a lot. But really right. you only said it two times yeah. in ever. Yeah. I know. I feel like, too, with EMDR therapy, I've done a lot of that last year. I'm now learning more how to, like, unpack and address those type of memories in a healthy way where it's Mm -hmm. like I can compartmentalize stuff. But ultimately, if you just keep things in, it kind of eats up at you, you know, and that's even how I felt this season, just like keeping in that hatred and anger for Sandoval. I was like, I don't have to forgive you and move on and be your best friend again, but I have to find a way to release this because it is unhealthy for me on the inside, on the outside, Mm -hmm. just every way. It was like, I just was not. Grace, do Brits love therapy? No. Okay, I didn't think so. I want to be a Brit. But I'm going to be honest, I think it shows. Like, (laughs) we're so troubled. I'd love to do a bit of therapy. I think I need therapy. Okay, so with staying on that topic, Katie had relayed that me not telling her was lying by omission. So my question for you all is, if someone makes an unwanted advance on you, do you have an obligation to tell their partner? And think about the position I was in. Situational. Yeah. Yeah. It's also just a shitty position to be in. Like, how dare Schwartz, like, come in hot on you like that? Like, Mm. that's, like, shitty of him. He put you in that weird position. He should be the one apologizing Mm -hmm. to everybody Mm -hmm. right now. And also, if you're really drunk, if that person is so, if he's, like, blackout drunk or something like that, in my mind, it would be like, okay, he was just so drunk. And he was. That's what. Then I'd just be like, he's probably not going to remember this anyway. Mm-hmm. And it would create a massive mm-hmm. deal. So I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen. That is, I yeah. would do that. Yeah. And why would I ever then bring this up later? Like, by the way, you just asked me to be a bridesmaid, but I have to make this about me for yeah. a second yeah. and tell you something. Like, there's no way in hell I was doing that. And at that. that point, that wouldn't have made a difference, I don't no. think. No. So no. it would just have been a, a, a stupid, like, an it argument. It would have just upset no her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'd already forgiven Tom for making out with people 
drunk yeah. behind her back. Mm-hmm. So I genuinely a crazy sentence. Yeah. felt like I was protecting her and her feelings. And this was someone that as mean as she was to me, I still wanted to be her friend mm-hmm. and I still wanted to build this friendship. So it's like there was no way mm-hmm. I was going to tell her that because it would have made her look at me differently all of these years when she already didn't like me and didn't even do anything to her. Which mm-hmm. is also sad because it shouldn't be on you. Like, it's not like you were hitting on him yeah. and you right. were making a move on him. He right. was advancing on you. Like, yeah. and you're getting the blame somehow, which I don't like. So why's the girls? Yeah. So why's us getting the yeah. blame? Yeah. Yeah. I know. These Schwartz has like men. escaped for years. Just like, oh, it's that's just Schwartz. He's so yeah. charming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He doesn't you know, know what he's okay. doing. Yeah. Yeah. He smiles like a little puppy dog and somehow gets away with everything. And I'm like, wait, I hate you, but I don't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. And for him to say that we were joking about it around the holidays, I'm like, bro, I did not even see you around the holidays. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I was just like, when I saw that, I'm like, what are you talking about? And Lala was probably thinking like, bitch, I spent Christmas with you. Yeah. Like, what do you mean at the holidays? Oh, Schwartz. <sighs> Anyways. Also on this week's episode, the topic of sharing locations came Ooh, up. Ooh, I love this. <laughs> I can't believe you have that many people. So I thought I had a lot, like 20 people's locations. You have 50 something? Here's the thing. 50. Janet, can I tell you, like, if you looked at my Find My Friends, here's the thing. I genuinely don't go on this app to see where all of these people are. I do. I Okay, <laughs> that's you. <laughs> I will text my friends to see if they made it home safe when they're drunk and in an Uber by themselves. I true. always do that. I get that from my mom. That's how I realized that Raquel stopped sharing her location with me mm. because she didn't respond to me one night and I was like, hi, did you make it home? And I was like, oh, I could just check. And I'm like, location not loading, location not loading. And there were a couple times that that Shady. happened. Mm-hmm. So I finally questioned her about it because I'm like, yo, what are you hiding? Yeah. Like, come on. This is, this is weird. It's been two or three times I've tried to see if you're home safe. And so there's the only time I really check is if someone's on their way over, I'm like, oh, are they close? I don't need to bother you while you're driving, you know, but it makes it look like I'm this. It was like, who is it? Who is it? (laughs) So they had me count how many people's locations I had when I was in my interview. (laughs) And I mean, I still have people. I have Robbie Hayes's location. You do? I haven't talked to the guy in years. (laughs) It's just I've never gone on and been like, we're not. After this airs, going to be like, (laughs) (laughs) remove. There's people on here that it's like. The people I did my show in Vegas with, like I don't need some of the bachelor. I want to look guys. at your map. I don't Let me need see your map. these people's locations anymore. I've just, I've never gone on. Oh my god, to you have unshare. so many dots all over. Yeah, how do you get them to share? I want to be. Wow, I want more people to share with me. Awesome yeah, I, that's the thing is, I don't even ask. It like it gets, automatically loads. Look at all those people. No, it'll just be we're talking about wow. something in conversation, and like my friend Madison, who was my neighbor when I was living on the west side, she's like, oh wait, I don't have your location. I was like, oh yeah, sure. And then we just like exchange. It's like usually brought I've up in a casual conversation. That. I don't share my location, no. but I want people to share their location. Yeah, yeah. All the time. yeah. I'm nosy. I'd like, want to see. I just have my parents wow. and that's it. Yeah. So it becomes this thing of like, oh, Sheena tracked Max. And that's how she <laughs> found out. No, no, no. Wow. I texted individually Katie and Max because they went home together that night. And I said to each of them individually, not in a group chat, do you make it home safe? Do you make it home safe? I don't remember if Katie responded. I think she maybe just said like, yeah, I'm good or whatever. But Max responded with this weird emoji that I didn't even know. It was like in the new update. It was like a black face with yellow dots and like a mm line with like, it was like a dotted like smiley face. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. And I was like, what's that supposed to mean? He was like, uh-oh. And I'm like, are you good? Like, yeah, like, like so then I checked. Are you, you see what, like, what? You <laughs> see Katie and Max's dots on top of each other. I don't have. Home. I don't have Katie's location. Uh-oh. But and then Brock was like, well, but you wh-? know where she lives. And so I showed Brock, and I was like, do you know what this emoji means? And he's like, no. And I'm like, Brock's like, check his location. You have it. And I was like, oh yeah. So I look, <laughs> and I'm like. Did Max move into Katie's building? Oh my god! Is Max at Kristen's? No, Kristen's with Luke. And then I'm like, Matt, there's no Max and Katie. I'm like, maybe they're just in the Uber still talking. Whatever. Uh. So I let it go. So then the next morning, Max had texted me and was like something like it was bound to happen or whatever. And Brock Look was these like cryptic messages. I know. So then <laughs> he wanted you to know. Brock tells me we'll check his location again. So I do, and he was still at Katie's. Oh my god! So I'm like, you spent the night. I'm assuming you don't have his location anymore. No, I still do. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, I He's still like, do. I don't care. Until next <laughs> no. week. Because yeah. that's the thing. It's like, oh, over. no, he texted me this morning and he goes, wait, I heard it's in the episode tomorrow night. How bad is it for me? He's like, I haven't told oh, my mom. No. I haven't told my friends. Now everyone's going to find out. 
Max gets around. But he does. Because he and Kristen have hooked up too, right? Yeah. Is that, that's uh, public, I was first. Right? I was going to put that out there. <laughs> and I have never hooked up with Max. I see people saying like, oh, he, Janet had a threesome with Max and Dana. Never. Oh, Did you never want happened. to? I wanted to hook up with Dana. I've never been attracted to Max. Hmm. Fair. Is the truth? As you should. Okay. <laughs> so... What are your thoughts on sharing locations with friends? Because I know you did used to, but then you had an incident where you had, had a to crazy stop person, and... so I had to right. remove it completely. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sure. But I mean, what do you think? I, I want people to share their location with me. I don't want to share mine. I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. Yeah. But like, it's not because I want to stalk them. I just kind of want to know, like, where are you today? Yeah. yeah. I'm at home. Yeah. Most likely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you doing something fun? I'm the exact <laughs> set. I love knowing where everyone is. If they're coming round, I like to track them. Mm -hmm. But I don't want people to know where I am because I'm like an avid liar of I've left. <laughs> <laughs> if I've said I've left, I haven't left. <laughs> or oh, if, you'll say I'm on my way and you're still... Do you know what it is as well? Mm -hmm. If I don't want to have a conversation, I'm like... Oh, Babe, I'm on the motorway. Like I can't speak. I'm at home. <laughs> I just don't want to pick up the phone. Fair. And yeah. if they've got my location, they're yeah. gonna be like your bare face liar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can't have that on my back. Yeah. I think yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Thank you. I, I like get it. it. Yeah. So, anyways, topic of conversation that I just felt like I needed to clear up because it's like <laughs> everyone in the group is like, oh, Sheena tracks people. And there's even something later in the season that comes up, and I felt like. Someone was trying to catch me in a lie, like, oh, well, did you see where so-and-so went? And I'm like, no, and like, don't you have her location? I'm like, yeah, but I didn't look. I'm not just sitting at home looking. Like, I'm... They're acting like you're a spy. Literally. Yeah. I'm yeah. not Kristen Doty, okay? <laughs> see, that's the thing about you, Sheena. It's like, you're so just, like, honest about things. I am. And people, they will jump on you, but, like... Look inside yourself. You do the mm -hmm. same thing. You just would never admit it out mm -hmm. loud. Yeah. And so that's why it's easy to pick on you because mm -hmm. you're like, I'm not going to tell you. I know. Oh, but so I'm you're like, better than me. I would be stalking. If I had those dots, I would okay. be. All I would do is sit yeah. home and watch all the dots mm -hmm. move around town. I would have like a graph. Yeah. <laughs> of where they are at all times. <laughs> Sheena's on the move. Sheena's on the yeah. move. <laughs> She's going back to her house yeah. a second time this yeah. week. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just looking at your map, I'm like, oh, does Tori live close to your new house? Um, I'm just looking at here's the like, thing and this <laughs> is what gets brought up later in the season I don't know where she lives <laughs> so if her dot looks like it's close to me did, I know I she's in the same in. city but I've never been to her house okay, well, so therefore I would not know if her dot was at home mm. or if she's somewhere else I would have everybody's dots yeah, memorized get back on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna take one more quick little break and then we'll be back to wrap things up all right, y'all. So I don't know if you're excited for Lisa Vanderpump's new show on Hulu, but I cannot wait for Vanderpump Villa. My friend Marciano is on it, and I can't wait to see all of the drama unfold. At the heart of the series is the staff, a group of attractive and opinionated team members who all have a unique or lack thereof expertise that have entered the villa to work, play, and clash under the same roof as their guest. The series will chronicle their day-to-day -day lives as they strive for Lisa's approval and the villa's success. Living and working together 24 hours a day will serve as the catalyst for the interpersonal drama that will ensue. Conflict is bound to unfold as friendships are formed, romances are sparked, and the group is pushed to the emotional limits to satisfy the guests every whim. Lisa Vanderpump, as we know, is as real as it gets. She is the queen of hospitality, having run over 35 restaurants and a boutique hotel and has become a household name due to her iconic reality TV career. Vanderpump Villa provides an entertaining and unfiltered portrait of life, both saturated in and starkly without privilege. Viewers will escape to France and be transported to a magnificent French countryside villa, Chateau Rosabelle, which will serve as the opulent background for the new series. Watch Vanderpump Villa premiering April 1st, only on Hulu. Okay, so I have seen this on social media. Brock listens to this podcast. I think it's called the All In Podcast, and they were talking about it the other day, the TikTok ban that I know they're mm. trying to do. So the House of Representatives has passed a measure to ban TikTok if its China-based owner doesn't sell its stake. So they basically want to ensure that China doesn't access private data from the app's 170 million U.S. users or be able to influence them through its algorithms. 
The bill is now facing an uncertain path in the Senate after easily sailing through the House. And I know Vice President Kamala Harris has said this week that the bill doesn't intend to ban TikTok, but instead deal with its ownership. So other politicians are advocating for intelligence agencies to declassify information about TikTok, China's ownership that has been provided to senators in classified briefings, etc. So my question is, what do we think about this? And do we need to see this classified information before we can make a determination if TikTok poses an actual threat? First of all, you sound like Elle Woods I right know, now. Right? Like, I know, right? I giving Elle what you just said. <laughs> this one I had to read my notes for because I wanted to get the facts straight, which is why I have my Andy Cohen cue cards. I think Love what it. we don't know can hurt us. I'm a firm believer in that. <laughs> I'm a data slut. I hit accept to all of the, like, can we have all your all data? Every, all, oh, yeah, My cookies yeah. are everywhere. Yeah. So, like, I'm just like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm already giving away my data and cookies to everybody. Yeah. Like, I always say yeah. accept all. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And then I'm like, wait, was I supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No, I sign away my I'm like, we've lost so much privacy just having an iPhone and all the apps and everything we do. I'm just like, I don't know. Like, you don't have privacy yeah. in 2024. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. know you know everything about me before I even mm-hmm. like you don't even have to put your social security number into things anymore. Like, yeah. You just put your name and they're like. All your history it's comes her. up. Yeah. And it's like, I know you guys already admitted you all like conspiracy theories. Yeah. It's like, I know that they were saying like these people in Congress who were voting on this. A lot of them had investments in Meta. Right. Mm. And do I believe that, like, Mark Zuckerberg could just be paying these people off so he could have the algorithm to TikTok? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Like, he just wants to buy TikTok because it's, like, beating his ass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if TikTok is banned, what do you think will happen to the communities that have been built across that platform? Because I I feel like only so much transfers over to, like, Instagram and whatnot. Because that is me. That is my platform is TikTok. I'm fine. I know. I think it will still exist. It'll just be different. My bills aren't going to be paid the same. No, no, exactly. (laughs) This is is hell. Yeah, Yeah. for for content creators, it Mm -hmm. would definitely be a big shock, I think. Mm -hmm. And you would, I guess, you know, have to maybe move over to Reels. But, but, yeah, what what are people over here going to do? Because it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Well, that's... Okay, more conspiracy, yeah, but yep. they also don't like that we're not working in like the yeah, usual ways that's because true. they want to make money off of us mm-hmm. and they can only do that if we're cogs in the machine. Mm-hmm. And now we're all entrepreneurs on mm-hmm. our own and they don't like that. Oh, I you agree. Get it. You I get agree. It. Also, like, okay, you're a UK creator, so mm-hmm. would you still have access to your American audience? Like, I wonder how. That's the thing. My second works. biggest audience is the US. On my TikTok. Yeah. So it's like, and a lot of them don't follow my Instagram. It's only TikTok. So it's like, how would I, how would they still keep up with me? How would I still converse with them? I don't even think about that. Yeah. Go follow my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do we, do we switch yeah. platforms Shit. now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, no, either way, I'm screwed. To be honest, I think it's going to get settled before it gets totally yeah, shut I can't down. I see them banning because it. They've been talking gonna, about it since the yeah, pandemic. You're going to get a lot of people who suddenly care about politics if they shut down TikTok. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you're going to have people being like, take whatever you want away from me. Take my data, but take my TikTok? Mm-hmm. Hell no. Oh, like, hell no. So true. I think that yeah. suddenly you'd have some people that are, maybe that's a good way to motivate well, people to vote. You can't get people in the street, but like, take their TikTok away and they might yeah 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 well i guess we will see but you know just start maybe posting more on reels and (laughs) just everything else i'm gonna have to do all right um to wrap this up what else has been going on this week anything you ladies want to discuss what should we be watching this week? I mean, you said buying Beverly Hills. Buying Beverly Hills for sure. I'm mm. actually going to start um, Mama June Family Crisis Ooh. because I just saw that. Oh, like, yeah. that she's stealing good. all that uh, makes honey money. So money. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. I really think there I needs s- there's laws for uh, under SAG for child actors, yeah. but there's um, nothing for kids who appear on reality their shows. Needs to be yet. locked up. She's, and she's so they're bad. really. I think maybe this will. Be, be the beginning of a movement mm. for it because she, should, Honey yeah. Boo Boo, yeah. should be a millionaire. Yeah, the fact that she has thirty thirty-three thousand yeah. dollars in her account and she like that's wants really to go sad. to college. Wild. Yeah. 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 Do you she, know what else is good to watch? Is what's that one that's exposing um, like Nickelodeon? Oh, oh yeah, quiet, quiet on, set. on set. Quiet on set. Yeah, oh, I think that's mm-hmm. that's yeah. what my friend Jenny texted me about that the other night. She yeah. said, "Have you seen Quiet on Set?" And I'm like, "Girl, I haven't even seen the season of The Bachelor. No, I have not seen <laughs> we it. We can't watch that in the UK, but I've been watching it on TikTok and it's absolutely." insane wow wow it's horrible yeah okay it's a good one to watch 
Okay. It's not really a mood lifter. But <laughs> no. If you're yeah, in the mood. that is wild about Honey Boo Boo. Like, is she going to sue her mom? She's you know got her. I mean, I mean she's got if, from what I understand, well. her mom is just like, I spent it all on drugs. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. When you put it like that, mm-hmm. that's fair that play. That's so yeah, yeah. sad. It's not like she has it in a bank account somewhere and is hiding it from her daughter. She's yeah. like, no, it's up it her went nose up, or whatever. Yeah, it's up her nose in her veins, whatever she was doing. Yeah. I mean, and as, you know, a mom who has a kid, is not yet getting paid in the industry. Like I still have my business manager who set up the account for her that Mm -hmm. we put money into that's going to acquire money. Any brand deals or things, if she is a part of, will go straight into that. Like I remember when my Mm. sister was acting, she had to have a Coogan account. Yeah. Yeah. And I told Brock literally last night, there was a brand who reached out to her and it's these... Wait, reached out to Summer Moon? Reached out to Summer Moon's <laughs> account. Yes, because uh, Summer Moon tagged them from her account. Oh. But it's these safe for kids kitchen knives. They're... The, they cut oh, everything, yeah. but they don't. They won't like cut. I've you. seen her use oh. those. They're on really the good. So last night she was cutting the butter for us and putting the butter in the noodles, and she was getting so close to her finger, but her finger was totally fine. And so I had tagged this brand, just something that we actually mm-hmm. purchased, but I liked it and I wanted other moms to see this is a kid safe brand. And they reached out and said, you know, would you be interested in exploring a partnership? But I'm like, absolutely. And whatever that is. That is 100% her. Yeah. Summer's like, like send it to Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I think about things like that. And I just, God, I could not ever imagine like stealing money from your kid, no, using your kid's money to buy but you're drugs. you're a good mom. And, yeah. There's a lot of other reality so moms sad. who are not going to be doing that. Or those that. mom influencers. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's oh really my God. Yeah. Sad. The worst. No, literally. But, Wild. um, well... It was fun getting into this shenanigans I with love, you all. Yeah, ladies' night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ladies' night. Uh, Janet, anything to wrap it up with? Watch the valley. It's going to get crazy. Mm. I can't wait. It's going to be a shit show. See, and for me, it's like I'm so used to you know getting the Vanderpump episodes, obviously, ahead of time. The, the valley, I have to wait and watch <laughs> it live. I'll trade you links. East no. Coast. <laughs> <feed>. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> but on the Bravo app, you can get East Coast feed. So I can watch it actually live live. I do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same. All right. Well, thanks, ladies. Tell Woo-hoo. everyone, please, where they can find you on TikTok while you still have it. Guys, <laughs> if you can be asked, go see GK Barry or Saving Grace. And that's all I've got. <laughs> and follow Kiki at The Talk of Shame. I love it. I'm Jan Elizabeth with an X on the end because there's still a Jan Elizabeth that won't give me her name. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for listening and watching, guys. Bye. Searching for this all my life. 